so in this question um, it is asked that a ball of mass m strikes a residual with a speed b and gets reflected without any loss of speed as shown in the figure what is the magnitude of impulse so what is impulse so what is impulse impulse is so what is impulse impulse is rate of ch your change of momentum change of momentum delta p is impulse or and this is also force into delta t hmm? oh so this is your impulse so the first question is what is the magnitude of impulse imparted to the ball by the wall okay. so this is your velocity b and after the reflection also strike same velocity it is coming back it is reflected with same velocity now you can see that it will have two component it will have two component like this is b cos 30 and this will be b sin 30 similarly the final velocity will have two component that will be b cos 30 and b sin 30 So B sin 30 is Bf and this first one that is towards positive x axis this is B initial. So now we can write that the change in y axis and change in y x axis will be the total change or you can write in other way also that P initial is b cos 30 is it's going downwards so or towards negative so minus b cos 30 and plus b sin 30 i cap this is j cap and uh, momentum final is equal to say minus b cos 30 j and but uh, the final one is minus b sin 30 a uh, momentum right so m will be there Thirty i so towards negative. The final one is towards the negative direction. You can see. Now we have to calculate the change in momentum. Change in momentum is your impulse. So change in momentum delta p is p f minus p i, which you can write that. Can write that okay so you can write that minus mb cos theta min minus this plus it will be so it will be cancelled out right so this only two terms will be there that is minus mb sin 30 i and minus mb sin 30 i so that is basically minus 2 mb sin 30 is half i cap 2 to cancel out 
minus 2 m b i k so this is the impulse that imparted by the wall on on the uh, ball because uh, we, are, we are getting a negative one so here uh, the direction of force will be same as the direction of your impulse so this is your impulse so impulse is towards negative or you can say change in momentum is towards negative direction by the wall on the ball so the force on the ball by the wall also will be towards minus negative uh, x or towards the negative axis now as from uh, newton's third law that same force will be uh, in the positive x axis or positive x direction because uh, there is no loss it's a rigid object already it's mentioned so whatever the impulse or the uh, force the wall is providing or imparting on the ball ball will also impart same uh, amount of force to the wall so ball will provide so the second question is as you can see what is the direction of the force on the wall due to the ball so this will be second bit answer will be the direction of force the direction of force is towards positive axis on the wall by the ball the so ball will impart a force uh, on the wall in the positive x direction and uh, that force will be your impulse uh, divided by means uh, rate of change of momentum change in momentum divided by time and it will be 2 mv upon t and uh, the direction of force on the ball by the wall will be minus means it will be towards negative and on the wall by the ball it will be towards positive axis right and uh, impulse is first one is what is the magnitude of the impulse so magnitude if you say this negative just you will remove the negative that will be delta p mode so you can say it will be 2 mv only this is the uh, magnitude of the impulse that is uh, by the wall on the ball okay let's stop